Jarvis Harris's daughter, Jasmine, is a standout basketball player at Northern Guilford. She's actually received a few inquiries um, through social media saying, hey, we would like for you to be a brand ambassador. This did kind of spark some kind of questions like, well, what can she do? What can't she do? This change gives Harris and more than 180,000 other athletes statewide guidelines to follow. Before signing any contracts, students, parents, coaches, and athletic directors will have to take an educational course, something East Forsyth head football coach Todd Willard thinks is a good idea since he's seen how it's played out on the college level. I deal with a a lot of division one and two coaches and some of the problems that the money is brought into the locker room because there's going to be a lot of kids that don't make money and um, that makes it tough. There are some restrictions. For example, neither schools or coaches can facilitate the deals or use NIL as an incentive to enroll at a specific school. And the change is expected to take effect on July 1st, but there is still some uncertainty. The state said it wants the Board of Education to make NIL rules, not the Athletic Association. Lawmakers have filed a bill to change that. We'll let you know what happens.